Good morning and welcome to West High School, where we strive every day to be an inclusive and anti-racist school community where every voice is valued. This is Mr. Jones filling in for the seniors for Friday, April 30th of 2021. Before we start with our announcements, let us acknowledge the land on which we stand. It is with great respect that West acknowledges and celebrates the inherent sovereignty of the Ho-Chunk Nation and the 11 Indigenous First Nations within what is now referred to as the state of Wisconsin. The ancestral land you are standing on in Madison is that of the Ho-Chunk people. West High School will continue to grow and build on our partnership with the Ho-Chunk Nation and all First Nations. We live in a nation of freedom. Those who wish to stand for the pledge may do so. I pledge allegiance. De Hacham. De los Estados Unidos. Of America. Quiesti Democratia. Ich farste. Una nazione. Under God. Nana te shasta. Ajadina. Kirigo tang e. Drapsia. Today's schedule, we have 3rd, 4th, 7th, and 8th periods with a uh, passing time of five minutes in between. And we'll be done at 12.30 uh, and then transition to student support hours. So make sure you uh, make it a good one. Digital AP exams are uh, available on your Chromebooks. Make sure you finish your setup three days before your exam date. If you need more information on how to do that or other instructions regarding AP exams, check out the MMSD AP website. The link is in today's email. The Regent Review April edition is, is uh, now published. Make sure you check out your email this afternoon or go to regentreviewnews.com. If you're interested in writing for the May edition, uh, even if it's a one-time submission, you can send it to regentreviewnews at gmail.com or contact the editors Bonnie Gulati or Asha Gilgan or email uh, Mr. McLaughlin, the staff advisor. The tutoring program is remaining virtual and is available 8.30 to 3.30 in, the, in a Zoom room. So make sure you drop in to either help out or to get some help. If you have any questions, reach out to Ms. Schumacher or Ms. Swenson. We got a lot of birthdays today. So happy birthday to John Pope, Avi Prager, uh, Srihan Shrithra, uh, Cecily Greblo, Rosamond Greblo, Israel Varela, Sarah Millman, Thea Gillespie, Odin Gartner, Cora Wasniewski, Sydney Bookstaff, and Eslady Zuniga Ramirez. Hope you all have a wonderful birthday today. To finish up the month of April of Arab American History Month, we are centering around Khalil Gibran. He was an artist who was born in modern-day Lebanon, <clears throat> but his family moved to Boston when he was five years old. Considered a creative child by his family and teachers at school, Gibran was encouraged to pursue painting and poetry. And despite moving between the U.S., Europe, and Lebanon frequently, his art evolved to the point that both his paintings and his writings were considered influential, not only in the art and literary worlds, but also the religious and political arenas. In 1923, Gibran published the book The Prophet. It was a series of poems used as fables that became one of the most published books in the 20th century and has been translated into over 100 languages and has never fallen out of print. Hope you have a wonderful Friday and a wonderful weekend, Regents. Make sure you're taking care of yourself, you're taking care of those around you, you're masking up, and you're staying safe. And we'll talk to you next week.